Good day everyone and welcome to day 227, turn 227 of your daily Civ 7 news update. We have news about news today. Apologies, I think this came out yesterday, but I missed it because I was too busy playing Concord. May it rest in peace. There will be a Civ 7 developer live stream on the Antiquity Age, taking place on September the 12th at 10am Pacific Time. That's 3am my time, so I'm going to say up front I will not be awake for this one, but I'll provide an update as soon as I am awake. Promise. So a bit of detail around what we can expect from Sarah. Uh, we'll be getting our first, first look at Hatshepsut with gameplay and a deep dive into the Antiquity Age. Now most importantly, and this is extremely exciting, they'll be covering age transitions. What we can expect and what we'll carry over into the Exploration Age. Uh, I think for a lot of people this is what's going to really make or break this game. Uh, the details around exactly what happens in the age transition have been a little nebulous up until this point. We know that the map actually expands upon reaching the Exploration Age, filled with new areas to explore, new sieves, independent powers and all that. We know that you have to handle crises as the age winds down and your civilization has to manage these negative effects. Uh, we know that you advance your civilization to a new one based on certain criteria being met, but I just can't wait to find out all the details, so how many choices will you get? Can any sieve turn into any other sieve provided they meet the requirements? Does everyone pick at the same time? If so, how does that work in multiplayer? So many questions, I seriously cannot wait to find out how this all works. I think a lot of people will be watching this stream with bated breath. That's all I've got for you today, so I'll see you tomorrow, but until then, thanks for watching.